Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Spanish garlic soup. That's right, I'm doing my take on the famous sopa de ajo. And you hear the term rustic thrown around these days very loosely, but hear the term rustic completely appropriate. This is the epitome of a comforting, homey, rustic meal. And by the way, for all you starving students that keep emailing me for super cheap, easy recipes, this is about as good as it gets. So here we go. So even though this is called a garlic soup, it really is, first and foremost, a bread soup. And I like to prep my bread in the oven, not in a pan. So I'm going to cube up some day-old bread, put it on a sheet pan. We're going to drizzle that liberally with olive oil. Traditionally, this bread is cooked in olive oil in the actual pan you're making the soup, but I think the oven method works much better. And we're going to throw that in a 350-degree oven for about 15 or 20 minutes until it's crispy and barely golden brown. We're not really looking to get a lot of color on there. We just want it completely dried out and kind of crunchy. Let's get some audio verification. There we go. All right, so our bread is prepped. We're going to simply set that aside and go on to the garlic. So we're going to go over to the stove and in a heavy bottom pot, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of good olive oil and then a ton of thinly sliced garlic. And by the way, look at the cuts on those. Do you know how hard it is to cut that much garlic that perfectly thin? Uh, super hard, which is why I did not do it. I used a Japanese vegetable slicer. Works perfectly. Look at that. So I suggest one of those. You can certainly do it with a knife. Some people actually use a potato peeler. But anyway, you're going to slice up a ton of garlic, and we're going to sizzle that on medium heat until it's just barely golden. So get it to start sizzling like that. Then maybe back the heat down to medium low, and just watch it, stir it, wait until it looks exactly like that. See that? It's just barely golden. And at that point, we're going to add some diced ham. If you can find Spanish ham, use it. It's amazing. This was just some thinly sliced black forest ham that I diced up. Works perfectly fine. I'm going to give that about a one minute stir in that hot garlic oil. And then we're going to add the paprika, the signature spice of this soup. And of course, the amount is to taste. So I throw in a couple teaspoons. Some people put less, some people put more. That's one of your jobs here is to figure out how much paprika. So I'm going to stir that paprika in with the ham and the garlic oil for about a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and toss in our toasted bread. And we're going to give it a toss in that unbelievably flavorful oil. Can you imagine that oil with all that garlic, paprika, and ham? It is almost too much to think about. Just an amazing foundation of flavor to build this soup from. All right, once the bread is coated in that olive oil, we're going to go ahead and pour in our stock. I'm using chicken stock. We're going to raise the heat up to high. We want to bring this up to a boil. All right, and while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and season this up a little bit. I'm going to put in a little pepper. I know it's going to need some salt and a little bit of cayenne. And of course, we'll taste and adjust for that later. And as this comes up to temperature, you're going to have to gauge whether you need to add more liquid or not. Now, this is supposed to be thick, but mine was looking a little too thick. So I added another splash. So definitely a soup you're going to need to adjust. By the way, do not even think of skimming off that unbelievable garlic paprika oil that comes to the top. That is critical. There are areas in Spain where you can literally be jailed for throwing that away. In fact, you're lucky if all they do is put you in jail. Okay, so don't skim that stuff. At that point, we're going to turn the heat down to medium and add some freshly chopped Italian parsley. And then the last step for this soup is to poach a couple eggs on the surface. Which reminds me, make sure you taste it for seasoning now, because it's hard to season and stir with the eggs in there. But at this point, I determined mine was perfect. I'm going to take my freakishly small wooden spoon and make a couple depressions, and then I'm going to slowly slide in a couple eggs. I like to transfer them from ramekins in case they break when you take them out of the shell. And by the way, the amount of soup you see here is enough for four people, but I'm only making two portions. And what I'll do is I'll heat up the leftovers and poach two more eggs on there. But you do have plenty of room to poach for if you want. All right, after we slide those in, we're going to cover it, and we're just going to let that cook on medium until they're poached. And here we have my under-the-lid camera. Just pretend. And those eggs are going to cook in that steaming soup, and it is an amazing thing. So anyway, cook it covered on medium. All right, just like you're making poached eggs for breakfast. The white should be set. The yolk should be runny. All right, if you want to splash a little of that hot stock or hot paprika oil over the top, that can help finish the process. It's up to you. It's your soup. And when you determine those eggs are cooked to your liking... You're going to serve this up. And then as far as serving goes, you could just scoop this all out. You could just ladle this into a bowl and start eating. But if possible, what I like to do is try to get some soup into the bowl first so I can place that egg on top. I think it looks much cooler for presentation. And then to finish, I'm going to drizzle over a couple drops of olive oil. That's really more of a blessing than anything. A little bit of cayenne for good luck. A little more fresh Italian parsley. 
And that is just one of the world's great bowl of soups and one of history's great garlic delivery systems. All right. And of course, we're going to need to taste this. And if there's any children in the room, be careful. We're about to show some extreme spoon on yolk action. And for the first bite, I'm just going to go yolk, paprika, garlic oil. Oh, man, that was beyond delicious. This is the kind of soup that just causes happiness from the inside out. It really is more than food. And of course, there's a million versions. Some have bigger chunks of bread. Some have smaller chunks of bread. Some people use breadcrumbs. Some people use raw bread. There's really no wrong way to make this. As long as you got tons of garlic, olive oil, bread, and hopefully a couple poached eggs on top, you're in business. So I really, really hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.